No caddy badges allow you to spot leaks of players that you define very quickly. In this video, I'll show you how to make your own badges. There are two different ways to make badges. The first way is with the help of color definitions. This is the recommended method if your goal is to make a badge appear when a player meets a frequency threshold that you set. For example, if you want to make a badge appear for players who fold to river raises greater than 60% of the time, you would use this method. Now let's show you how to create a badge for our example. The first step is to create a stat and note caddy for fold to river raise. We can do this by clicking File, New, then Express Definition. In the Express Definition, check Filter by River Actions, Bet, then Bet Fold. We'll see some stats appear that we can choose from. We're going to choose the first one, R-BF, and click Add. R-BF stands for River Bet Fold. We need to reset our notes so that previously processed hands will apply to this new stat we just created. Do this by clicking File, Reset Notes. Choose Yes to the prompts, which will let your note caddy notes rebuild. Now that we have our note caddy stat, we can proceed to create our badge. Click File, New, Color Definition. Let's give it a name by typing in Folder River Rays in the description field. In the Badge drop-down box, we can choose any image we want for the badge. We can also load our own image by scrolling to the bottom and clicking File. Next, we need to add the stat that we created and set the threshold for the badge to appear. To do this, we can type in the name of our stat in the search field. Our stat is named R-BF. We need to click on the stat and we'll put 60 as the minimum and we'll put 2 as the minimum sample for this example. We can now save the covered color definition by clicking File, then Save. Now that we have the badge created, we can add it to our HUD. To do this, in HM3, go to HUD, HUD Editor, select the HUD profile you want to work with, and then click a plus sign and click Add Stat. Search for notecaddy.ordered badge and add it to your HUD. If you plan to use multiple badges, go ahead and add multiple ordered badge slots to your HUD. We can add up to 20 badge slots currently, so we're going to add no caddy ordered badge 1, 2, 3, and so on. In part 2 of this video, we'll show you how you can make a badge appear when a player deviates from the average for a certain stat. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.